All right, hey guys, it's uh, Crimson here, and I've kind of heard a lot of talk about how you're supposed to do the build or what's the best way to go to the Castle Age fast or, or whatever. So I thought I'd share with you exactly what I do and how my build order works. I thought about maybe like writing, uh, writing it up and making a post, but I think maybe just a video is the easiest way. Um, that way you can really follow along, you can see the timing of everything that's happening on screen, so maybe it's a little less confusing, right? Um, I will also make a write-up of everything, but I just wanted to make sure that you can see it, because um, I think that may be a little bit easier to follow. So, I've picked Saracens here. Um, the reason I'm picking Saracens, they don't have any um, useful bonuses for um, this particular build order. You know, um, maybe like Britons have faster sheep gathering, or um, Mongols have the faster boar, and uh, Saracens don't really have anything. So they're kind of the generic baseline sieve that... Everything is just kind of the normal way that you would do things, right? You don't need to make any special accommodations for the Saracens here. So that's why I've picked them. They're kind of the generic sieve. So um, this build will work with any sieve rather than being just for the Brins or something like that. So let's go ahead and get this started. Um, I think that's all I need to really say. So the first three seconds here are really fast. So I want to pause it really quick and explain exactly what happens um, in the first maybe five seconds. A lot happens. So... I want to make it so it's easy to follow because it's really fast, like I said. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is jump to my town center and queue villagers. Then I'm going to grab these two villagers and make a house, like right here. Jump to this villager, make a house, like right here. Then I'm going to grab my scout, set it to control group one, and move it to the sheep over here. Okay, so lots going to happen in the first five seconds. It happens really fast, but it's important you're this fast because you don't want any idle time, right? So let's go ahead and start and jump to the town, town center, build a house, move the scout, and control group. So we've control grouped. Everything's happened. We're waiting for the scout to get the sheep, move the sheep in, and then we'll start scouting with the sheep around, right? Okay, so we got that. Then we'll grab the villagers and start moving them in. Let me go ahead and set the rally point, right? Okay, so let's scout with the sheep. Um, just a little uh, thing. You don't have to worry too much about scouting with the sheep, you know. I know a lot of you maybe don't have the practice, and it is fairly difficult to, to get to a high level where you can just constantly do this. So don't worry too much about scouting the sheep, but do try and keep your scout moving at all times if you can, right? So um, I don't really recommend turning on auto scout at the beginning because it'll kind of just go off in some random direction. So it's maybe not super useful in the beginning, but... Uh, towards the, the middle, we'll, we'll start using auto scout. So six on sheep. I'm sure a lot of you already know that. That's why I didn't mention it. Um, but yeah, we're gonna put six villagers on sheep. That's kind of the most important part. We need six villagers for on sheep for stable, constant villager production. So that's what we're gonna do. Six, and then we're gonna go four on wood. Right. So the first villager will build a lumber camp, and then after that, we'll go ahead and um, just set the rally point on the wood line. Right. So. Easy peasy, we don't even have to look at the town center, just jump occasionally to it to queue villagers and watch the scout, right? Okay, so here we'll just keep one, one sheep under the town center and just keep this guy moving around, exploring, trying to find our sheep and our pigs and all that. We see one pig up here, we see the second pig up here. Perfect. All right, so the next thing we need to do is go and collect the next pig, okay? So that's our next job. And I recommend always taking the pig that's in the front of your base first. That way you don't get lamed. Uh, because it's much harder to get the pig that's back here than it is to get the pig that's right up here, right? So try and go ahead and take that front pig first. One shot is all you need. And then the next villager will go build two houses somewhere in the front of your base like this. We got bam, bam, like that. Two houses so we don't get housed later on. No big deal, okay? And then we bring the pig in. All is well. Try and get it nice and under the town center. And that next villager will also go to the pig. So we're going to head. Now is the time to turn on auto scout once you've found all your pigs and all your sheeps and all that. So we turn on auto scout. And then after that, we'll have eight villagers here. We're going to go to the berries, okay? And then when this guy is done, we'll also send him to the berries as well, okay? So we'll just keep our scout moving here. Force drop off food. Just like that. When you can't afford to queue a villager. It's important to do that. Make sure your town center is always working, right? So this guy finished. We'll move him down here, like I said. And about now is when you will probably need to go get that next pick, okay? 
Oh, where'd he go? He's gone. What? My pig. There it is. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get the next pig. We're sending four to the berries. I don't see my uh, sheep yet, so we'll look for those. Keep looking here. They're probably over here. So as you can see, four on berries. Eight on the pig here. We're bringing the next pig in. A little late, but no big deal, right? So we'll go ahead and kill that pig. And once we have four on berries, like now, we'll send the next two villagers to the pig and take the low HP villagers off and build farms. So we'll build two farms and put two more villagers in the pig. Okay. Easy, easy, easy. I'm really surprising from the other sheep. So we've got the next villager. Take that low HP. Put them on the farms and put the farms in the upper right corner. Um, just the way the game works, it makes these farms work faster. So we'll put them there. And then the next three villagers will go to wood. So we're going to go to up to 22 villagers to wood. So and we'll move those sheep down because that's where we're going to move our next villagers to when the boar finishes. So bring that sheep in. Still surprised we haven't found our sheep, but no big deal. Just be patient here. We'll find them in a minute, I'm sure. I'm not going to get loom. Okay. So, quickly, I want to mention the deer. So, uh, it's always a good thing to push those deer. Um, but you don't have to, right? Uh, it's it's tricky, so I don't expect you to be able to push it easily, right? So, we're not going to do that here, but if you if you think you can, feel free. So, when the boar finishes, I didn't mention it, but when the boar finishes, you're going to take two villagers, build two more farms. You're going to take two villagers, build two more farms, and go ahead and... Uh, send the rest to sheep, okay, so two villagers, two more farms, and then this villager, 23, will build a house and the next villager will build a gold mine, okay, maybe not there, that's not, not a good spot, oops that's not a gold mine, oops, that's still not a gold mine, there we go okay, so, there we go and these villagers will go to a straggler tree right by the uh, a little late on the house, but that's fine, okay, so we're going to turn on auto scouting here get that sheep into the town center Okay, and we're going to go to 26 villagers, so the last two will go to straggler trees next to next to the town center, okay? And then we'll click up to feudal age, okay? So 26 villagers, we're going up to feudal age, we have two on gold, we have nine on wood, we have four on berries, we have six under the town center collecting sheep, two collecting wood here, okay? Nice and easy, right? Then, when you have about 300 wood... Go ahead and make two more farms, okay? Easy, easy, easy. These villagers will still be on sheep, no big deal, right? They're just sitting there collecting the sheep, okay? Easy, easy, easy. easy. Go ahead and turn auto scouting on. Nice and simple billboard here, okay? So we're going up to the feudal age, and we should have a lot of wood here. So, we're, we're, as you know, we're going to build a market in the blacksmith, so we're going to need about. 400 wood to do that. So when the sheep finishes, we'll grab all the villagers and put them on the wood. And then we'll probably be able to build one or two more farms, but I think we can only build one, right? Because we need about 400 wood. So then we'll take three villagers off the wood line. We'll send them to the front of our base here to build the blacksmith in the market. And we'll queue two more villagers and set the rally point to the wood line. Okay, so market blacksmith two villagers on the market one villager on the blacksmith two villagers queued in the town center and we'll send them to wood right okay that's perfect just like that you could also maybe get loom but we're gonna make um oops that's not too good make loom instead of that second villager but i'm not too worried about getting attacked since there's no one to attack me i'm playing alone so as you can see here the last villager should be oh no i put him on the wrong but we might have not quite enough food. It's a little tight here, but we should have enough. And if you don't have enough, you can just get us in the villagers. Or like that. So now we can go up, and these three villagers are going to go to wood. Now, I know that looks like a lot of wood, but we want to build two town centers, right? And we're going to need a lot more farms. So we're going to need a lot of wood here, okay? So turn on this gun on. I feel like I've turned it on five times now, but... So once you have 100 food, you're going to get the wood upgrade. Get the wood upgrade first. And then we're going to go get the farm upgrade when we have 75 food. So it might take a minute here, but come on. Give me 75 food. 
don't feel like you have to uh, force the garrison, but do get it before you go to Castle Age, right? So once you've clicked the uh, horse collar upgrade, you can place two more farms with those two villagers that we put on there. So go ahead and get them building the farm, right? And then we will take one villager and build a house. Oh, no, 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 uh, then, when we hit about 80%, we're going to grab four villagers from the wood line and go to wherever we want to place our town center. I think maybe right here on this wood line is good. So we're about 70% now, so let's let's do it right now. We'll grab four villagers. There we go. Drop off the wood. Bring them over here. And I'm going to build a town center right there. So I'm going to place a house somewhere on the way like that. And they'll go build the house and then go build the town center when, when they're done, right? So we'll hit Castle Age, they'll build a town center. So they're already there. Um, this guy's farm will run out. Send him to wood. Okay, no big deal. And this farm will also run out. Send her to wood. Okay, and as you can see, bam. They finish almost exactly at the same time. And you can go build a town center, right? And then the next step is another town center. So let's, let's go ahead and put that on our gold, maybe. Um, so try and put one town center on gold and one town center on wood. And then I forgot two bills here. And then we're going to go ahead and grab the wood upgrade. So you see we need a lot of wood, a lot of food. So no big deal. Queue with villagers. And this guy, the third farm to expire, he will get a farm replaced. Okay. So these two farms expire. The next two farms get replaced. And we're just going to queue farms as much as we can. So every new villager, you can pass them to a, a tree nearby. Give them the wood. Oh, I forgot about my berry villagers. So we'll make farms with these guys, right? And there's going to be one extra villager, so we'll send him the wood. And every time you have 60 wood, bam, new farm, okay? Every time you send have wood, 60, 60 wood, new farm. So we can't afford it, so we'll just send him the wood. No big deal. And we're going to send these guys all to wood, except for two. We need two villagers on wood. On gold, excuse me. And just every time, every time, 60 wood, farm, bam. 60 wood, farm, bam, okay? Just constantly making farms, okay? As often as you can, every 60 wood, every 60 wood, okay? 60 wood, farm, instantly, okay? We'll go ahead and get rid of the one don't want right now. 60 wood, farm, bam, instantly, right? So as soon as you have that 60 wood, instantly farm. So we'll grab this guy, come on, 60 wood, bam, farm. Over and over and over again, okay? And we're gonna do this every time until we have exactly 20 villagers on farms okay oh another 60 wood bam farm so we're just kind of cycling between where the villagers are and two villagers and making farms okay that's your entire job i probably have more than 60 wood so bam farm and bam we can actually place two so i haven't been doing my job okay and this guy is gonna come bam farm and then we'll have one villager come build a house because we're gonna need a house in a second so that was a disaster, so we'll go ahead and get wheelbarrow, because I got housed, but normally you would wait until you have 20 farmers. Not a big deal, we have 19, so I guess that works. So, at 20 farmers, when you have 20 farmers, um, which we will in a second, you will stop and get wheelbarrow. But I got housed, so we got a little early, which is fine. So, 20 villagers, and we want about 15 on wood. So then, we're going to send two more to gold, and this is your big moment, okay? This is the moment where you either decide to make military or you decide to continue making town centers. So um, I want to just talk about this maybe a, f a quick little while. So we're at about 45 villagers right now. Maybe you could go up to 50, it doesn't matter. But once you have about 20 on farms and about 15 on wood, now is your time to decide. Do you make more town centers or do you make army, right? So maybe if you're in the pocket, you're playing arena or something like that, you will maybe want to make more town centers, okay? But if you want to make military, now's your chance, right? So make more houses, make more farms, put more on gold, make military. What I'm going to show you is making more town centers, okay? So we're going to go ahead and make more town centers in this example, but now is your chance to make military. So you've got lots of villagers, you've got a lot of town centers, so we'll switch into maybe making army is now's your chance, right? You're getting all the upgrades, so now's, now's your chance to make army. But for this example, I'm gonna show you what it looks like to make more town centers, okay? This is like a big boom, okay? So let's go ahead and continue uh, with the idea of making more town centers, okay? So here we go, more town centers. So all of our next villagers are gonna go to wood until we have about 200, 
if you would, then we'll ground four villagers. Maybe we'll go on to this gold, I guess. Okay, perfect. And so you'll notice we don't have any stone, but we can just jump to our market real quick and buy 100 stone. Ooh, a little crazy, but we have the gold, and we're not going to use it for anything else, so might as well. Right. And so we're going to continue making farms. We need more farms, always more farms, right? Continue just making making more farms as much as we can. Get that villager and make more houses. I recommend when you're in Castle Age, have one villager whose job it is to just build houses, right? Perfect. Okay, so we have some idle villagers. We'll get them get them started, put them on wood or something like that. You see, I'm still getting housed, and it happens to me all the time, but no big deal, right? Just for a few seconds, it's not, not a huge crime. Um, we'll task everybody. All our new villagers can go to wood. You can see we've got a lot of wood, so now is the time you will probably want to consider making a new lumber camp, right? And these villagers, we can put on gold. These villagers will task the wood. We'll go ahead and task these villagers to wood as well. And so I think we need a new lumber camp here. So let's go ahead and take a few villagers, make a new lumber camp, wait for this farms here, get this guy. He's our house builder. Make this house there. Continue making villagers, of course, all the time, right? Check on those villagers, check on our TCs. Maybe we'll go ahead and get a loom, right? Okay, loom. And then maybe let's make another new lumber camp, right? So we have lots of wood coming in, lots of food coming in here. Let's make a new farm with this guy. You can see Loom is coming in. All right, everything is looking good. Now I'll let you in on a little secret. We have four town centers. Four town centers is a lot of town centers, but we can even go farther beyond, right? If you want to just keep going, you can go make another town center, and we'll do the same thing. We'll buy another 100 stone, and bam! You can put down a fifth town center. Uh, now, maybe this is too many town centers, um, because now you're just making a ton of economy instead of helping your team make with army, right? So it's probably really risky, but you can keep going, right? So just keep always making more town centers. Always making more town centers, always queuing more villagers, right? And just go, 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 okay? And more houses, because I haven't been doing my job properly. Place more houses there, right? And just more, more, and more villagers. So you can send villagers to stone if you want a castle, maybe let's try that. Send villagers to gold if you want army, let's try doing that. You can see we're just going to boom up, and we're going to have 70 villagers already, right? So just keep making more villagers, more villagers, all the time, more villagers, all right? So when you have about 70 villagers, and a lot of resources are not getting all spent, go ahead and get the wheel, the second wheelbarrow upgrade, right? It's uh, even better than the first wheelbarrow upgrade. It does more, so it's a good upgrade. Make sure you get it. Very important. Just going to keep going. Make more farms. Make more... So now you can see that we've got like a crazy economy going, right? We just have so many resources. You can see we've got lots of villagers. Just a crazy amount of farms just everywhere. Queuing villagers like crazy. And now we can start making army, right? Start uh, making a barracks, whatever. Adding more villagers to gold, right? Um, so we're getting lots of gold income. So we're going to need lots of gold, right? For uh, going to the Imperial Age, making an army, whatever. We need gold for a lot of things. So we'll go to gold, we'll go to stone. Um, so we'll, we'll start making our army buildings. Maybe we'll start getting fletching or something. Maybe we'll go archers. So let's, let's get fletching. And uh, let's build some ranges. Okay. And we'll probably need a few more villagers on wood if we're going to make archers. Because archers cost wood, right? So let's put some villagers on wood here. Probably was a little overzealous with the food, so let's sell a little food, actually. Make sure your resources aren't stacking up too high, right? Uh, we'll build a library. We need to get ballistics for our archers that we're going to make, that we aren't making yet, but we will. Okay, and as you can see, I'm kind of already ready to go to Imperial Age, right? So, we'll go ahead and build maybe a Siege Workshop, okay? And then we'll be able to go to the Imperial Age. When that Siege Workshop finishes, we'll be able to go to the Imperial Age. We've got lots of resources floating around to get our way up to the Imperial Age. So we're ready to go, right? We're just waiting to click up, right? And maybe we can you know, stop some more farms, too. We don't really need more farms, right? We're gonna make archers. We don't need a lot of food from making archers. We'll go ahead and click up, right? So now we're going up. It's only like 20 minutes, 23 minutes, 23, 28. Maybe we make a new 
lumber camp, right? And then we'll make like five archery ranges. So let's just throw down the ranges so we can really start pumping units and start getting our upgrades, right? Get all those upgrades. We have lots of resources. We can afford every upgrade in the game, right? Get get town watch maybe as well. Once you have like 120 villagers, good time to kind of slow down your villager production, balance everything out, and start spreading your economy out to all the other resources. And you can see, as you can see, Auto Scout has done all the work for me there. Um, and we're going to the Imperial Age. We'll start making crossbow. Yeah. Oh, no, we don't quite have enough villagers on gold, so let's get the gold upgrade, right? Start sending our farmers to golds here. Like I said, we don't need too many farmers. We're stacking up a ton of food, so let's sell some of that food and get rid of it. We don't really need it, right? It's just making a ton of archery ranges. I mean, even like 5, 10 archery ranges is, is enough. You need lots, right? So you can really, really produce archers, right? So you don't just have this little group of... 10 archers, you know, you want like 60 archers. It's going to take us a while to get 60 archers. So, we need as many archery ranges as we can afford, right? Make archers as fast as we can. So, we're not too interested in food. We have too much food already. So, we'll send these guys to maybe wood, maybe build a few houses with this guy, and send you to gold. Let's uh, spread our wood villagers out a little bit as well. Kind of spread the economy out, right? So if he attacks us over here, we still have economy over here that can work, right? And we're making our archers, making our archers like crazy as fast as as fast as we can. It's a race to get as many archers as we can as fast as possible, right? Okay, we got our archers coming out. We got our archers coming out. No, we can't quite afford our blast. That's kind of my fault. But come on, three hundred gold. There we go. We can sell some of our food, as you can see we have way too much food, which is going to happen if you make too many farmers, which we did, kind of. Okay, so then we'll go ahead and send these villagers over here, we can get Arbalest, we can get Bracer, we can get Chemistry, all the upgrades, right? We have so much economy, we can just make anything we want. So now we'll go, maybe go attack, and you can see that now we've got like 30 archers, right? That's a lot of archers. We'll go ahead and wait. Maybe we'll just get a few farms. Maybe we want like 20 or 30 farms. It's a good number to go for if you're making archers. And remember, if you get too much food, you can always sell it for gold, right? And that's maybe not the best thing to do, but it is useful, right? So now we've got the arbalest. Now we can go. We got like 35. Yeah, let's go. That's a good number right now. We got an army they're afraid of. So now we go attack, okay? And that's, that's how you do a boom. And... This is a really good build order for you to follow if you're maybe new to the game, you've um, not got a lot of build order practice, you don't really know what you're doing. It's it's not the best build order, okay, but it will give you a good economy with lots of villagers, lots of lots of resources to spend, um, and you're able to make a lot of army, right? See, this is a big army, you'd be scared of this army if I showed up with this, right? And look, I can afford to make more, see? I, I, I can delete all of them. Look, it, all of these die. Look, I can make more. See? No big deal. They'll start making more. Maybe I can even make more ranges, right? Let's go. You know, make... Like I said, you know, even if you have 10 ranges, it's not enough, right? You want them making as fast as you can so that as they die, they're constantly replacing. I'll also get the farming upgrade there and, and turn the f auto farm off. Okay. As you can see, you're just constantly, you're, you need as much production as you can, right? So just constantly making things right. And then, you know, maybe we want to switch to Cavalier or whatever. Make 10 stables, right? So don't get stuck in the idea that you only need two ranges or, or whatever, you know. You make a million ranges. I don't care. Make, make 20 ranges. Make 40 ranges, right? The more ranges you have, the faster you can build and the more damage you can do, right? So... Even if you're losing your units, it's not a big deal because you've got lots of economy to, to replace your units, right? So that's the important thing. And also, you know, another good thing is to build a castle and get conscription. Makes your units make even faster. Even, even more units, right? It's important. So get all your upgrades. Make sure you're managing your economy. Check on it every now and then. Place those farms. Make sure you're checking on your resources. Try not to build up as much as I have here, but maybe I made too many villagers. But as you can see, we're just constantly, just constantly producing archers, right? So even if this group dies, I can just keep making more, right? Keep making more. So I can just always, you know, you kill my archers and I've got another group of 30 archers coming into your base, right? So that's how you do it. Uh, I think that's really all I need to say. So yeah, let's, let's go ahead and end it there.